Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in this video, we are going to understand how to set up webhook inside Freshdesk. So as you know that Freshdesk is a powerful customer support tool that helps businesses manage and resolve customer inquiries efficiently. So with Freshdesk, you can organize support tickets, track customer issues and provide timely responses. It is designed to streamline your support processes, ensuring your team can deliver excellent customer services. So in this video, we'll show you how to enhance Freshdesk by setting up webhooks using Pabli Connect making your support system even more efficient and responsive. So I want to transfer the data from Freshdesk to any another application whenever a specific event occurs. So for this, we are going to set up webhook inside Freshdesk. So for this, we are going to create a connection between our Freshdesk account and our Pabli's workflow. And to create this connection, we are going to use webhook. So webhook acts as a bridge between different applications so that as soon as a new event is occurred in my Freshdesk account, automatically the details will be captured in my Pabli's workflow if I'm going to set up this connection successfully. So what will happen that if suppose a new ticket is submitted in my Freshdesk account, automatically as soon as the ticket is submitted, Pabli will capture the response and further I can send that response to any other application using my Pabli Connect workflow. Okay, so now we are going to set up webhook inside our Freshdesk. So before moving forward, I'll just let you know that this is our workflow window and this is the most important window of our automation because we have triggered an action in this. So these are the two main principles principles on which our automation works. So over here you can see that trigger is when this happens. So trigger means when this happens and action means do this. So the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select as our trigger application that is going to command the workflow and action are going to follow the commands. So this means that triggers the commander for the workflow and actions follow the commands. And as you know that we can have only a single commander but multiple followers. So over here we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger. So that's why we can add multiple actions right over here, but we can have only a single trigger in a particular workflow. So let's suppose that I'm running a SaaS company and we use Freshdesk to handle customer questions about the software features, troubleshoot issues and manage subscription queries. So now I want that whenever a new ticket is generated, we want to notify a team on Discord or Slack or Google chat instantly. So this can help us resolve the issue quickly, respond quickly and keep everyone in a loop. So for this, we have to take the trigger application as Freshdesk and for the action, we can select anything which is Discord, Slack or Google Chat so that I can notify my team on the same application about the new troubleshoot issue or subscription query or any another thing. So now after understanding the whole concept of trigger in action, let's set up the webhook inside Freshdesk. So I'm going to open my trigger and now it is saying choose application. So for the trigger application, we are going to select Freshdesk right over here. So I'm going to search for it. So as you can see fresh desk, so we are going to select it and now it is asking me for the trigger event. So I'm going to open it and now you can see new ticket or updated ticket. So as you can see trigger when a new ticket is created and trigger when a ticket is updated. So I'm going to select my trigger event as new ticket. If you want, you can definitely select it as update ticket also. So I'm going to select it as new ticket because I want that as soon as a new ticket is generated, automatically my workflow should be triggered. And as you can see that now it is giving me a webhook URL. So we are going to use this URL in order to to create a connection between our Freshdesk account and our Pabli's workflow. So first we are going to read the help text to learn how to set up the webhook inside Freshdesk and it is saying log in to your Freshdesk account, navigate to the left sidebar, then click on admin, workflows and automation. So we are going to follow these steps first. So I'm going to open my Freshdesk account and as you can see that I've already logged in it. So it is always advised to log in your application before starting with the automation. It makes the procedure easy and now it is saying go to admin so we are going to go on left sidebar and as you can see admin so we are going to go on this and now again from the left sidebar we have to go on workflows and as you can see automations right over here so we are going to go on this and now you can see ticket creation right over here so we are going back to our workflow and it is saying under rules that run on the section, select the new rule button or use the existing rule. So as you can see over here are all the details with the help of which we can successfully create this webhook. So I'm going to follow all of these details only. 
So we are going back to our fresh desk account and from here you can see that we have to go on new rule to set up a new connection between our fresh desk account and our Pabli's workflow. And now it is asking me for the rule name. So I'm going to give rule a name which is test and now it is saying on ticket with these properties. So we have to select match any one of the below or match all of the below. So over here we are going to select few conditions and regarding that only we have to select this. So I'm going to select this which is match any of the below. So now we are going to set up the condition and it is saying in ticket. So I'm going to select in ticket right over here only and then for the choose condition I'm going to select it as subject. So I want that in ticket if the subject is over here we can see contains. So I want that in ticket if the subject contains I'm going to enter a value right over here which is bug. So I want that in ticket if the subject contains bug then only this workflow should run further. So I'm going to search for it and then we are going to insert bug. And yes you can see that now I've set it up a condition which says in ticket if the subject contains bug then only the response would be sent to my workflow so I'm going to add another condition right over here so now I want to set another condition which is in ticket if the priority related so I'm going to select priority right over here and now it has become in ticket if the priority so I'm going to select right over here is and over here I'm going to select high so now I want that in ticket if the priority is high then only the details should be sent to my workflow so now I've created two conditions right over here and if any one of this matches then only my data would be sent Sent to my workflow. So the two conditions are in ticket if the subject contains bug or in ticket if the priority is high. Then only the details will be sent to my workflow. Now we are going to move on forward after setting up the conditions. You can set up the conditions as you want. I'm going to set it as these only. Now we are going to move on forward and now it is saying perform these actions. So we have to select webhook right over here. So I'm going to go and as you can see trigger webhook. So we are going to select this and now it is saying request type. So for this we are going to select post because I want want to post the data to my workflow and now it is asking me for the URL. So we are going to copy this webhook URL and then we are going to paste this same URL over here in our fresh desk account and after pasting the webhook URL it is saying requires authentication so I'm going to switch this off. It is saying add custom headers I'm going to switch this off and it is saying encoding so I'm going to select it as JSON only and then for the content I'm going to select it as simple only. So now after selecting the content over here you can see that it is asking me for some details. So over here we are going to select the details which we want to capture. So for example that if I want to capture the ticket ID so I'm going to select it. I want to capture the subject so I'm going to select it. We want to capture the description so we are going to select it. We are going to move on forward. I want to capture the priority so I'm going to select it. So I've selected the details right over here which I want as response in my workflow. So if you want you can select many another details too. For example I'm going to select the contact name too. So I'm going to scroll and as you can see contact name so we are going to select this too and after selecting all the details that I want we are going to move on forward and click on preview and save if you wish you can definitely select more details right over here so I'm going to click on preview and save and now it is giving me the summary which says conditions when the ticket is created if the subject contains bug or if priority is high and then for the action we selected trigger webhook method post URL and over here is the URL we copied from our workflow and now we are going to click on save and enable right over here and yes you can see that we have successfully set it up a webhook with the name test so this means that our connection is successful and now we are going back to our workflow and now it is saying waiting for a webhook response and in the notes it is saying do a test submission slash record so in order to capture this webhook response we have to do a test submission and to do this test submission I'm going back to my fresh desk account and over here you can see new so we are going to go on this and then we are going to go on new ticket and now it is asking me for the contact so I'm going to add the contact right over here I'm going to search for it and as you can see demo user and over here is the email so I'm going to select it and now it is asking me for the subject so I'm going to enter the subject as new bug right over here then we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the type so I'm going to select it as problem source so I'm going to select it as phone only it is asking me for the status so I'm going to select it as pending it is asking me for the priority so I'm going to select it as high and now it is asking me for the group so I'm going to select the group as customer support and now it is asking me for the agent so as you can see that this is not the required field so I'm going to leave it as blank and now it is asking me for the product so I'm going to select the product as this only and now it is asking me for the description so I'm going to enter the description as an error in the payment processing feature the prevents user from completing their transactions so I'm going to move on forward it is asking me for more details so I'm going to only fill in the required details and then we are going to click on create 
create right over here and yes you can see that we have successfully created this ticket now we are going back to our workflow and we are going to check that if pabli has captured the response of this or not and yes you can see that pabli has captured the response over here you can see the ticket subject ticket priority ticket id over here you can see the description and now over here you can also see the contact name so yes these were the same fields which we selected during making the connection and yes we have received the response of these fields right over here so with this we have successfully set it up this connection between our fresh desk account and our pabli connects account and now as soon as a new ticket will be generated into my fresh desk account automatically pabli will capture the response right over here because i have successfully set it up this connection and then further i can send that response details to another application by adding the applications in the action steps right over here so like i gave you the example that as soon as a new ticket is generated in my fresh desk i want to post the same ticket details on my google chat also so that i can notify my team that we have to resolve a new bug and we have received a new ticket so for that for the action application we are going to select google chat so according to your requirement you can further select the action application so these were the steps which we had to follow to set up webhook inside fresh desk i hope this video was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but with the help of pabli you can integrate many more applications so now if you have any doubts you can reach us at support@pabli.com if you have any queries you can reach us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issues you can follow this website and if you find our videos helpful do like and subscribe our channel thank you for watching